Hey everyone, are you still using Postman for API development and testing? What if I tell you that there is much faster, safer and developer friendly alternative to Postman? This tool is open source and free to use forever. Let's introduce Requestly. Hello everyone, I'm Manish Verma and welcome to Software Testing Mentor channel. In this video, we are diving into Requestly's key feature and how lightweight it is and how powerful API development testing capabilities this tool brings in and all of that without logging in you can store all your data locally it is local first tool so you won't be sharing any of your confidential data over the cloud requestly is quickly becoming very popular among the developers and testers whether you are developing the api or building the api whether the tester is testing the apis they are automating the api testing or you are debugging any of the issues so requestly has all of those features and will understand these features one by one and also go ahead with one of the Demo. Let's understand how it turns out to be a better alternative as compared to Postman. So if you see here in the feature section, Postman is not free, Requestly is free. Requestly is lightweight and login free. So you don't need necessarily to log in into Requestly to go ahead and start using it. Within Postman, you definitely have to go ahead and log in. Now if you talk about the local workspace, Requestly provides local workspace However, Postman doesn't provide you the local workspace. So all your data remains locally if you want to use Requestly API testing tool for your testing teams. Now the scripts, collection runner, collaboration, mock server, all of those features are also available in Requestly. Requestly is open source, Postman is not and Requestly is equally capable as postman it's enterprise ready and has great support available so if we talk about the usage or how many people are already using so 200000 plus developers and testing team are already using not only the desktop app it's available for firefox chrome and edge and then for the desktop app you have it on windows and mac os now i have already installed the desktop app let's go ahead and understand some of the key features and demo of requestly so this is the desktop app on the windows and if we talk about some of the key features within requestly you have the in the left hand side you have the network so you can go ahead and capture all the requests from the device that this app is installed or you can connect specific apps and start intercepting traffic from that app so if you go to the connect apps you will see that you can connect the installed browsers or you can add the mobile apps of the browser or terminal processes and others you will see that you can go ahead and set up any of these apps if you want requestly to capture all the requests from the device you can anyways enable requestly system wide now the next feature is rules what exactly are rules within requestly so rules are nothing but customizable instructions that you can define within requestly to either intercept or modify or redirect your request and response accordingly so for example if you'll see view all rule types you will see the url rewrite rules mocking rules headers others all of these rules are available and you can create your own rules you also have the ai capability to ask any help within requestly then for api development testing you have the apis section here wherein you will understand how you can go ahead and start using requestly to test your apis then we have the file section wherein you have the file server for storing any of the json files or javascript or css file what exactly this will help you to do is it will basically say for example you want to get the response without needing to set up your own backend you can store the json file here or the css and javascript file it will serve as the mock api response as a json file or serve your static assets for example your javascript and css files will be served right from the file server very helpful when front-end development is happening and you are actually debugging the application you want the responses without setting up 
any of the backend that is time taking job then you have the sessions feature which is a session book it is available into the browser extension and what exactly it does is it will record the activity on the web page network traffic and everything and then you can replay what exactly has happened very helpful tool for debugging and testing okay so if you go ahead and see the documentation and help section massive documentation help is available if you go to the help you will see that you have the api documentation that i can go ahead and straight away refer to to work with the apis and if you go to the documentation you will see all of the api client and http rule documentation is available here so let's quickly dive into the demo what i'll do is i have already created a collection which was created into postman let's try to import that collection straight away i haven't touched it for a while let's see how the import functionality works within requestly and how it performs or modifies the scripts that i have created within postman script within requestly okay so let's go ahead to the api section and here you will get the import right so let me expand this a little bit and here you have the collections then you have the environment you have the history of what type of request you have sent and then you have the runtime variable option available as well so to import a collection i'll simply go ahead and click import and you will see that you can import from curl the environment you can import you can import the postman collection and the environment uh, and then you can import bruno collections and variables right so requestly collection and environment and postman collection and environment so we'll import the postman collection and see how it performs so i'll go ahead and select the file and this is one of the collections so you'll see that api test jira cloud right this is the collection that has been created so let me quickly go ahead and select that and open you will see that it has successfully processed these three collections i'll go ahead and import and let's see the collection here okay so you'll see this is the sample collection that is available by default and this is the imported one so you'll see that end to end api testing is there and let me delete these as i won't be using any of those so you'll see this is the imported collection and it has the create issue story in the existing project and there are some of the methods or some of the requests already there so get projects and create issue type story all of these are already there and if i go ahead and see the collection right so if i go ahead and see the variables everything has been imported in here authorization the username and jira token is required because it needs the basic auth and if you go to the overview everything is available there if i go to one of the request get request you will see that headers are also imported and scripts are also imported and the good thing is that script have been updated as per requestly format right so you'll see that within postman the script starts with pm dot and accordingly the requestly has gone through those scripts and updated the scripts during the import right that's one of the great features so seamless import is available within requestly what i'll do as of now is i'll just comment these scripts because i won't be using these scripts as of now for this demo and i'll go ahead and maybe update the details so i'll go ahead and say add the host name now host name is coming from the environment variable okay so what i'll do is i'll just create say for example in the sample environment i'll create a variable host name and then i'll add the host name wherever my jira instance is so let me quickly figure that out so here i have my jira instance which is rcvacademy.atlassian.net so that's the host name let me enter that value in here and save the host name so if i go to the collections again if i go to the get projects now the host name has resolved because i have selected the sample environment here so you can see the drop down here you can go ahead and choose the sample environment now i have zoomed in the view a little bit so let me zoom out so you'll see that you, know, you have the environment drop down here let me zoom in so it's easier for you to view so now host name is resolved and now i can go ahead and update the authorization which is inherited from the parent so i'll go to the collection level and i'll go to the authorization and i'll update the username and jira token in here directly 
right so rather than uh, coming from the environment or i can also have it at the environment level but as of now i'll just update the username and jira token in here okay so let me quickly update this and then we'll get back to the get request okay so i have updated the username and the password so if you go to the authorization it's inheriting from the parent so obviously this is going to work for this get projects request now let me go ahead and quickly send this request right so i'll save it and send this and see the response you'll see that straight away this was the imported collection from the postman the exported collection that i exported from postman just updated the host name username and password and the script is working seamlessly because there are two projects so you'll see total two projects have been returned and the details of the project have been available here and it worked like a charm so this is about one of the methods or get method now if you see there are a lot of methods available you can have put post patch delete head all of the required methods that you will need in your api development and testing available here okay so now the next thing with requestly is this is the desktop app let's go ahead and see about the session which is only available in the browser extension okay so let me open the browser extension once you will install the requestly in order to install it on the browser it's pretty simple so if you go ahead and see the product here or simply click on the download you will see that you can download the app for windows or mac os or you can add it directly to the edge so for example if i go to add to edge here or if i go to more browser i can install it on different browser if you're using different browser so if i go to add to edge you will see it opens the page here and i'll simply go ahead and click on get and add extension it will automatically go ahead and add the extension within edge so you'll see that view extension is available and if i go ahead and click on the manage extensions you will see that it is available in here okay it is av available and enabled now in order to pin the requestly app in the browser i'll simply go ahead and pin it to the toolbar and now you will see the app is available in the browser in the edge browser i'll go ahead and click it and then you can straight away start using for intercepting any of the web traffic for example i want to modify the api response or modify header or replace string so you can go ahead and intercept any of the web traffic or you can simply start using it for the api development and testing you can also connect to the desktop app with your mobile or with your browser extension so if i go ahead and click on send api request and you'll see it will ask for creating your free account which if you want you can go ahead but you can also skip but when you once you sign up or once you sign in you will be able to do a little bit more but that's not mandatory you can keep using requestly without signing in and working locally so if i go ahead and click on skip for now you will see similar interface is available into the browser without the desktop app as well if you want to keep everything in the browser you can straight away go ahead and use in the browser so absolutely similar steps that we did in the desktop app so in terms of feature you won't find any of the differences whether you are using the browser extension or the desktop so these are some of the key features within requestly and how you are going to use requestly for your api development and testing i highly recommend you to go ahead and download this awesome tool or add it into your browser as an extension and start using it this won't let your data to be stored in the cloud and many organizations have this concern that they don't want to sign in and store every confidential data within their project when you are doing api testing you are obviously having the confidential data that many organizations for example banking organizations and government organizations they do not want to share that data over the cloud and want to have that control locally so this tool is going to help you achieve that much lightweight provides all the capabilities that you can get in any enterprise level api testing and development tool with much better performance and the last thing 
absolutely free because it's open source so it's free and it will be free forever so that's all about this introductory session about the requestly tool go ahead download it and i might be coming up with the full series of requestly api development and testing tool and how you can leverage this tool this awesome tool into your projects for the development and testing thank you i'll see you in the next one